Welcome back to the long-awaited third edition of Neelan Knowledge. Today I do have a partner here in the studio. Tyler Welch, creator of SE Benchwarmers. Yeah, you can watch his channel later. But first, it's been about a month. Last time we talked, uh, we were going into the Florida game. Um, I was very, very high hopes for the Florida game, and my hopes were good. We came out on top. Prevailed, um, shut Anthony Richards down early, like I remember saying that we needed to do. Um, got through that game, won 38 to 33, um, and a pretty close game, closer than it probably should have been, but it was a good game overall. Um, then we went to LSU and blew them out. It says 40 to 13. Uh, we wore the the smoky gray uniforms, which I just love. Who doesn't, right? Um, blew them out. Trying to kind of catch you guys up to where we are now. Um, then Alabama came to Tennessee. Um, we played them when they were the third ranked team, and we were the sixth ranked team, and we upset them for the first time in my lifetime ever. We beat Alabama fifty-two to forty-nine, and um, it was a very emotional day for me. And I, I didn't know, I didn't just didn't know how to feel about it. Honestly, I've I've never had to feel that emotion in my life before. You cry. I cried. I just didn't. I mean, it just I didn't know what to do. Never in my lifetime. Have I have has Tennessee ever beat Alabama in football? Um, then we cakewalked UT Martin the next weekend, um, sixty-five to twenty-four. It was the homecoming weekend, or no, yeah, homecoming weekend. We then played Kentucky, another cakewalk, forty-four to six. Will Levis is a nobody, nobody. <laughs> um, then unfortunately, um, I also had really really high hopes for this game against the Georgia game. Um, I thought we could maybe pull it out. You know, it was in Athens, which made me nervous. But then I got really nervous because the weather was just awful. It started pouring rain. Um, I think when we meet them again in the national championship, it'll be different. It'll be indoors. We'll, we'll beat them with no rain. So we, we'll be fine. Um, and we've seen them before. We know that we can't. That Hinton Hooker cannot stay in the pocket for more than three seconds, which is what he was trying to do, which was he just holds the ball too long. Honestly, and so he's got to get over that. If he, especially if he wants to be a good NFL quarterback, which I think he has the the, the ability to ability. He's definitely to got the age too. What is he like? What? He's twenty five. Yeah, he's twenty five. Um, but he's a great quarterback. Um, and then I actually attended the Missouri game this past weekend, so now we're up to date. Um, it was a blowout win, sixty six to twenty four. Um, which actually got a lot of people mad. Um, that I've been seeing is they were not happy that we kind of ran up the score there at the end, even though we did put in the backups, but. You can't help when our backup has a cannon of an arm and throws for 105 yards and a touchdown. I mean, he's just better than the probably he, – he would be starting at Missouri. It's, sorry, he's better. Um, which I thought was interesting. You know, I am a avid Kentucky hater, so I wanted to point this out. Um, you know, Will Levis going into the end of the season, the Kentucky quarterback, he was projected to be like the, the third finishing Heisman um, Above, above Hendon Hooker. And like a top five draft pick. Yeah, exactly. And people are still predicting him to be a top five quarterback. I don't, I don't understand. He's got all the intangibles too, but I just... He just, I mean, if he's not doing anything at Kentucky, he's not going to do anything in the NFL. Um, and he had, I don't know how many yards he had, but I do know who had more yards than him. The backup quarterback of Joe Milton at the University of Tennessee had more yards and I think the same amount of touchdowns that Will Levis had, the projected Heisman winner. I mean, I just think that's kind of sad, you know. They they lost to Vanderbilt. You know, this is a show about the University of Tennessee, so why would I not talk about my hatred for the Kentucky Wildcats? I hate them. I hate everything about them. You know, I was sitting there ranking um, with in class today, ranking um, who UT fans hate the most. Um, you can tell me if you think this is true. Uh, Alabama. Number one. Number one yeah. is Alabama. Number one is Alabama. Number two is Georgia. And I can't decide whether three or four is Kentucky or or Florida. And I, I'll I, would, I would think Kentucky because <clears throat> it's like a – I mean, not, and just speaking across all sports, Tennessee and Kentucky is a pretty big rivalry. Yeah, especially in basketball. And basketball is big. Yeah, I would say Kentucky probably. I just don't like Kentucky fans. They, Honestly, oh, as, as, as an Auburn fan, our, our list is pretty similar, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Number one, Bama. Number two, Georgia. <laughs> number one, Oregon. Stole, I love Oregon. Stole your heart away. I didn't steal stole Bo Nix away from you. I didn't steal. He, he drove him out of town. It's not an Auburn show. That's true. Um, I'll talk about that on my show. Yes, he's been to Um, um, these, these upcoming weeks, we've got South Carolina on the road. 
Vanderbilt on the road. South Carolina should be easy. We're going to show Spencer Rattler that he's not who he thinks he is. Um, he's not. South Carolina's awful. Who'd they, who they just – they lost? Oh, yeah, who they lose to? Not so crappy team. Oh, they just got destroyed by Florida. But they lost to a bad team. They lost to Missouri. That's who they lost to. Yes, that's what it was. And so we were nervous. Oh, Missouri might come in with some heat. They obviously did not. Actually, they started out the game pretty decent. Like, it wasn't that bad. Um, but, yeah, South Carolina should be easy peasy. As well as Vanderbilt. Um, Vanderbilt has some high hopes going into the season after beating Hawaii like 63-3 or something like that. We're going to go down and probably – I think they talked about checkerboarding the Vanderbilt Stadium, which the Vanderbilt Stadium is like the size of our high school. So it should be pretty easy to fill that whole stadium with orange, which is probably will be just orange. I think the tickets are like forty bucks. I might go. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to get down there at least maybe maybe tailgate. I am. I am going down to Knoxville this weekend. So this is my first time ever going to Knoxville. So I'm, I'll, I'll make sure to visit Neyland Stadium and just kind of walk around Tennessee's campus. Yeah, you could probably see. Uh, you could probably go find a basketball game. I'm gonna go play. find the goalpost in the river. Yeah. But I will be <laughs> representing Auburn. Of course. I'm wearing all my Auburn stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't be too proud about that. If I get, so if I die, it's just. But you guys don't really hate Auburn fans. That no, we don't have really any like any beef with relation them. with them. Yeah, we never. I don't think. When was the last time we played? In like football. Yeah. It was the COVID year. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, but Jerry um, Garantino trying to fix it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the the playoffs though. Um, I think that we'll we'll get back in. You know, once Michigan loses to Ohio State at the end of the season, we'll probably play. We'll probably take Michigan's spot in the college football playoffs. Then uh, we'll beat Ohio State and we'll play the University of Georgia in the College Football Championship. So it'll be good season and we'll beat them because, like I said, it'll be indoors, so we're fine. Um, you know, if that it doesn't end up having, I'm going to be very upset. Like, if we don't get a chance at the College Football Playoffs, I'm going to be very, very mad. Oh, oh, you guys will get a chance. Yeah, I think honestly, you guys are basically a lock. Yeah, I think if we don't, if we get screwed and don't, like, if we end up at like a bowl game or something. But I did see that it was predictions that if we got a bowl game, it would be against the University of Texas, which I would love. Oh, that'd be cool. Show them who's the real UT. We'd beat the crap out of Texas. Down. We'd beat the crap out of Texas. All right, well, I'm not going to promise another up- upload soon. It might be after we win the national championship. Who knows? Um, which is a while away, but who knows, you know? But uh, whenever that is, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. See you.